We don't want your GMOs. Food 
with unaltered genes. GMOs are natural, so we'd like to request you can take your GMOs. We'll take all the rest. So let's all save our farmers. We must persevere. Let's all save this world, it's the only one with beer. Let's all save our gardens, let's save our heirloom seeds. Let's all make our food GMO-free. Cause we don't want your GMOs, we don't want your corn. It's a danger to the planet and babies yet unborn. We are here to say You can take your GMOs and get out of the USDA So coming up in November we have this thing called an election coming up in November where you can vote for politicians and propositions we got Proposition 37, what you're learning about. Your right to know, label GMOs. But Monsanto's going to do everything they can, and they're going to spend millions and millions to confuse you and confuse people who are already confused. So we got to get out there and let people know. So we've got to get out the message So everybody knows Vote yes on Prop 37 To label GMOs Cause we don't want your GMOs They have got to go We want these things all labeled Cause we've got a right to know We want these things all labeled This is our quest So you can take your Thank you very much. It's the most dangerous thing facing human beings in our generation. GMO, genetically modified organisms. They take genes from one species and force it into the DNA of other species. We have hundreds of millions of acres of genetically modified crops that have been planted in the United States, and yet most people are not aware. I found out that our food supply is genetically modified. Guess what? The food that my son ate on August 25th, 2009 was raw corn. The corn that almost killed him. The process of insertion plus cloning creates massive collateral damage. There can be hundreds or thousands of mutations up and down the DNA. The things we're seeing today aren't normal. Illnesses that weren't epidemic before are now epidemic. We have gone from food in its whole food form to food undergoing a scientific experiment. The havoc that it will cause will be across the entire spectrum of disease. What the problem was is I guess he said that they weren't able to process the food correctly and they would bloat up and die from it. They can put it on the market without telling the FDA or to consumers. It became clear that the FDA had been lying repeatedly since 1992. It's not just an agriculture issue, it's not just a food industry issue, it's an ever-living creature issue. And if we don't do anything within a decade, every single major crop with any significant market size is going to be genetically modified, and we're not going to know it. The world can get rid of it. The world should get rid of it. The sooner, the better. Now. We look at what they're eating and we take out the genetically modified foods and the industry foods and they all get better. It never doesn't work. I don't want to be a human lab rat. And I certainly don't want my two-year-old daughter to be a human lab rat. It's not about feeding the world. It's not about the blind will see and the lame shall walk. It's about chemical companies selling chemicals. What have I done to my children, and 
what has been done to them without my consent.